Two respected organisations built on volunteers doing incredible things in local communities. Now coming together with a common goal to prevent drowning. Each year, 28 people drown accidentally around the Irish coast. Many of these deaths are preventable. So, the RNLI and the GAA have teamed up to save lives, supporting the charity's Respect the Water campaign. Four leading Gaelic athletes have learned important survival skills. The team were shown how quickly and dangerously their bodies could chill. The tank temperature was 12 degrees, warmer than the sea off the coast of Ireland. The thermal camera provided proof of just how dangerous the effects of cold water shock can be. You still get an immediate shock as soon as you drop into the water, but if somebody's going in and they don't understand or they don't realise they're about to drop into water, it must be an unimaginable shock, really. You could feel your actual body shutting down and like you kind of get a bit of a panic attack even though you're kind of in there and you know you're not going under, but like... You can see how people would panic and freak out in those kind of situations and uh, it's just so, so cold and you start shivering after 30, 40 seconds. The effects of the cold, when you start shivering, like you really just don't have any control over your body. Like, um, So yeah, really, really must buy up now. We were pretty impressed when you were holding your breath for so long going in. I was breathing through my ears. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do now? A big warm shower. <laughs> oh, no. Cheers. <laughs> Next, it was over to the RNLI College to take on the training that keeps lifeboat volunteers at the top of their game. I'm really nervous about this, so I don't really like jumping into water from heights and that looks like really high. Two, one. It was a leap into the unknown, four metres into the icy pool. Brilliant experience. It's Unbelievable to see the detail that the Iron Lives run to, to, to train and make sure they're as prepared as they possibly can be. And in three, two, one, step forward and off, 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 off. Great jazz. It's very different with all the equipment on you when you hit the water, you know, but uh, they gave me a few survival techniques in terms of what way to hit the water and stuff, so absolutely, I really enjoyed that. Time to learn the basic skills needed to survive and save lives at sea. The players faced lightning, howling winds, thunderous downpours, not too different from match day in Croke Park, bringing home to them the reality of the dangers of water. The GAA and the RNLI working together to prevent drowning.